today's tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at the Offset Entities tool in SOLIDWORKS. The Offset Entities tool allows us to create an offset of one or more sketch entities, or you can even use model edges or model faces. Now on this, I'm going to create a few cutouts. These cutouts can be a little bit more complicated, so instead I'm going to use the spline tool and the offset entities. So first, I'm going to start a sketch, and on that face, I'm going to start to create a spline. After you've created your spline, you can come up here to the top and use offset entities and select your entities. In here, I have some options I can set. One is to add dimensions. This will be the two inches that you see up here at the top. You can also add a chain. So if you selected one item in here, you can tell SOLIDWORKS to select all the items that it's connected to. And then you also have bi-directional, so it can give you one direction or not. You also have the ability to cap ends. So if you didn't cap ends, you'd see it's open. If you cleared the bi-directional, you can see it only creates it on one side, and you can reverse that on the inside or outside. In our case, I'm going to go ahead and create bi-directional, so it creates on both sides, as well as the ability to cap ends. I have the ability to say arcs or lines. I'll say arcs. And then down at the bottom, I have the option to tell SOLIDWORKS which of the geometries I'm creating is going to be construction. So the base geometry or the original one or the offset geometry. In this case, I no longer need the base geometry. So I'll go ahead and check that box and then click the green check mark OK. As you can see, I have a two inch dimension on both sides. One is a driven dimension. So over here, if I wanted to change this from two to three, it'll change the dimension on the other side as well. So there you have it. That was Offset Entities in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks.